Today I'm going to talk about everything you need to know when choosing a free web host. If you just start your business and want to save cost, you can create a website with free hosting. There are pros and cons of using free web hosting. Let me elaborate more so that you can consider to use it or not. Hi, my name is Akmal and I'm from Hosting365 team. We help you to expand your brand and website to the next level. Today I will talk about free web hosting and domain for WordPress. You can find the links in the description of this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Make sure to stick to the video till the end because I will share about pros and cons of the using free web hosting. So without a further ado, let's jump right into it. Every marketer needs an online shop because nowadays people are engaging onto the internet. It does not matter whether it's a website, Facebook page, Instagram or YouTube channel. If you're just starting to build your business and choose to introduce your brand with a website, you can use free web hosting first. You do not need to buy a web hosting yet, especially if you're not familiar with a website yet. If you're still figuring out what could work and what could not. Basically, you cannot run your website without a web hosting. In order to promote your services via a website, you need a domain and a web hosting. Web hosts provide data storage and host stores data on the hardware called web servers. Customers find your website by entering your domain URL at the search bar. It's just like your house address. Let's start with the domain. You can have the domain name that you like, but you need to pay at some cost. Or you can use a subdomain which is registered under a free web hosting company. An example of one is displayed on your screen right now. Subdomain is the part of domain. The disadvantage of it, it would be sounding less professional and even difficult to remember. But not all free web hosting companies provide free subdomain. Now I will walk you through a few of the free web hosting companies. Let's jump into the first free web hosting company, Awardspace. Signing up on this is easy and only take few minutes. You can sign in using Facebook or Google account. So once you're done with registering and signing in, you will be directed toward the dashboard of the account. Here you can view what you can get from this free web hosting at a hosting statistics on the left. Scroll to the bottom to get started with the basic steps. Click domain manager at top bar below hosting tools. To get started, you can use the subdomain provided rather than buying a new domain. And this will cost you zero dollars, which means it is totally free. Enter your website name, like for example, easy key to diet and choose extension. I'm choosing adwebpages.com. After that, go to hosting tools again and click on Zaki app installer. You want to install your WordPress site here. After that, click on browse and install apps and choose WordPress to build your website. WordPress is easy to use and customize. After that, you can click proceed to step two to begin WordPress installation. Enter the administrative login details as shown. The username and password will be used to log into your website cPanel account. cPanel is a hosting interface to manage anything related to your website. You manage the administrative works here such as email account for your business, your web files and so on and so forth. For award space, the cPanel or hosting tools can be accessed at bottom of dashboard client area. Or you can choose the pre-designed template to launch your site. You can click Zaki website builder from the top panel, click the create new website. You can choose any of the templates from here to represent your site and click create. For the record, you cannot use both WordPress and Zaki website builder at the same time. Only one type of website can be kept inside your file directory. If you enter the website URL at the search bar, it will show only this page. So what should you do next is type your website URL that you have chosen earlier and log into your administrative dashboard. You can type easykeytodite.adwebpages.com slash admin. The downside of award space is it does not provide SSL certificate for free. You need to pay for SSL registration. And as you know, this is very important in order to maintain security of your website visitors and gain their trust to visit your website. So here you can see this is your WordPress dashboard and you can add articles or blog posts from this pages tab and you can create essential pages such as terms of use and privacy policies. You can also customize your website appearance entirely too, but we are not going to dive into deeply upon this. 
So for that I might be demonstrating that in my future videos so make sure to take your time and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any update. So for the sake of this video we are going to move on to our next hosting company which is Googie Host. To get started with this one just click on this free hosting and here you can see this start for free option. Down here you will be able to see these are free features. You can host one website with free SSL certificate. You can use subdomain given by the company. You can get 1000 MB SSD storage and 100 GB of bandwidth. Click on this green get for free button and you will be good to go. The next one comes infinity free and here you will be able to see this free hosting tab. Some of its features are 5 GB of disk space, unlimited bandwidth, free subdomain and a free SSL certificate. Now the point to be noted here is that if you already owned a domain you could register SSL certificate for free but if you don't have you can pick a free subdomain name for over 25 domain extensions. Now after that we can move on to free hostia. To get started with this one simply click on this menu drop down option and from here you can choose free cloud hosting. You can see all the features in here. You are allowed to host 5 domains under this plan but you need to pay for it. So next we have triple zero web host and is a hosting company under Hostinger. If you ever heard about it simply click on this get started now. You can compare the features of free web hosting with the paid one. You can create only one website with a free web hosting plan and no subdomain provided. You get 300 MB of data storage with the 3 GB of bandwidth. If you are just started, this is more than enough. Last but not least, let's dive into freehosting.com. You can simply start off by choosing free web hosting. Here is what is included in the free hosting package. 10 GB of data storage, unmetered bandwidth, which means unlimited bandwidth. You can host one website but you need to buy domain or transfer your existing domain to this hosting. Also your site can handle maximum 30,000 traffic daily. But it does not offer you the followings like free subdomain hosting, free domain hosting and PHP mail and send mail program, server configuration changes, services for users from selected countries. Other free web hosting company that you can try is freehostingarea.com. And finally you have buy.host where you can also find some great options for free web hosting. Now as I promised here are some pros and cons of using free web hosting. First of all, if we look over advantages, cost is almost nothing and they are free to register and use. But we can see a couple of items in disadvantages. First of all, hosting company get their revenue from the ads run at your website. So there can be ad banner or pop up in between your article or paragraph. This could distract your customers or even cause them exit from your website. Some ads are irrelevant to your content. Secondly, limited features. You can host only one website, you need to buy a domain or even a subdomain, limited storage, bandwidth and traffics. This could slow down your website and increase its loading time. Obviously this will reduce your visitors engagement at your site and lack of customer support. Prolonged out of service time, if you use free hosting plan, your website can go down for a while and affect your business. Your website is terminated for unknown reasons after all of your efforts even though you do not do anything that disobeys their rules. So yeah guys I hope you got to learn something new in this video. If you have any type of question or want to share any opinion please comment below and I hope you try these hosting websites and discover the features. There's a lot more coming to it. So with that said it's the end of our this particular video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like the video. If you're looking for in-depth review of web hosting, you can visit our website. The link could be found in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Peace.